hunk of metal that is Halo's Master Chief is a bit of a video character anomaly. You see, the Chief wouldn't be caught dead in a spandex jumpsuit. Tell that to the Covenant. Chief takes substance over style, and so does Halo 2, with frenetic gameplay that will leave you breathless. The fundamentals of warfare are still in place. You have a limited number of weapons you can carry. Grenades are mapped to the left trigger. And taking out alien scum with the butt of your gun is still one of the most satisfying things in all of video games. You can now carry a gun in each hand. This complicates tossing grenades, but we got over it pretty quickly. Another important addition is the ability to jack vehicles at any time. Of course, the old standby, the Warthog, returns. You can also pilot the Banshee, which was not playable in the first Halo. With smarter allies, new enemies, new weapons, and incredible gameplay, Halo 2's campaign is a dozen hours of eye-blistering, synapse-searing bliss. Halo 2's multiplayer is on Xbox Live and supports up to 16 players. There are seven game types with enough customization to tweak it to your liking. Assault is brand new and plays much like Counter-Strike. Oddball has you playing Keep Away with a skull. Territories has you capturing and holding particular parts of the level. Territory lost. Then you have the typical Slayer and capture the flag mode. Just about everyone will find something to like about Halo 2. Well, except for maybe the ladies. Oh, I know what the ladies like. All right, maybe they'll like it too. We give it a solid five out of five. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.